Hey guys, Drewski here, and today we're back flying in DCS. In today's episode, we're flying the F-18 Hornet, and in the first half of the episode, we're actually going back in time to kind of more Cold War era weapons. We're using AIM-7s. Those are FOX-1 missiles. You have to keep the target locked the entire flight of that missile. It doesn't, uh, it's not as easy to use as the modern day weapons like the AIM-120C, which is a more active missile system. So we're gonna jump right into some carrier ops right after this quick word from our sponsor. I wanted to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. You watching? You're a gamer. You spend a lot of time browsing the internet, playing games online, watching movies, listening to music, etc. Depending on where you're at, you could be severely limited by your location's internet restrictions. For example, I've even talked with viewers in my live streams who were in China that were using VPNs to even be able to watch that live stream. You'd be surprised by the amount of stuff on the internet that is region locked. TV shows, movies, games, music, even news websites. Utilizing NordVPN will bypass all those internet restrictions and enable you to digitally jump from country to country on a reliable and fast system, allowing you to watch shows that are only available in certain places, access networks that your school's Wi-Fi might block like Steam, and much, much more. NordVPN also hides your internet activity in public locations with unsecure Wi-Fi routers like airports and coffee shops where someone can easily track the sites you search up on that public router. If you want to be more secure and private on the internet while also being free to surf the web without restrictions, check out NordVPN today. Go to the link in the description to get NordVPN's two-year plan with a huge discount plus one extra month for free. It's also risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you to Nord for sponsoring this video. Dark Star, Draco 1 1, checking in for cap uh, 90 miles west Aleppo. Draco 1 1, Dark Star, have you radar contact? Stand by. Draco 1 1, you have a two ship, bra, 090 for 60, 17,000, hot, type big 21. Draco 1 1. I'm going to try to get some long shots with the uh, AIM 7s here. I don't know, I haven't had very much practice at all with AIM-7s, but we're going to try it out. We're going to see how they do. Uh, pop -up I've had super unreliable times with the F-14, but I think I'll be better with this. I have a feeling like this will be easier. They're both at 20,000, so they should be easy shots. Easy, easy, straight on shots. Draco 1-1, one, one. two ship bandits, bra, zero, nine, zero for 40. Flanking north. Draco 1 1. Alright, so these are MiG 21s. I can barely see him out in the distance. I wanna wait for I don't I don't really know what to wait for with these Fox ones, I'm not sure, but luckily they're staggered a bit, so I should be able to get a shot off. Kinda cruise with it. Ooh, SA6 nailing me. I should be fine. Now you're 12 o'clock, 8 miles. He's dead. 17,000. This guy's not dead yet. He's popping flares though, like he got shot at. Oh yeah, he's, got, he's one, getting one, shot at. Dark Star. Alright, he's okay. friendly in the mix. 9 miles. One, one. You have a two ship, Big 21. Fox Bra, 1. 110 Hot hostile, 20,000. Come on, little aim seven, get him! Get him, aim seven, get him! Dark Star, and I'm checking in with you at 80 miles west of Hamas. Yeah, got him! <laughs> aim sevens, baby! <laughs> Alright, let's get another Hello. one. 
Pop-up bandit, bra, 080, 445, cold. Okay, 12 miles. Fox 1. So weird calling Fox 1. I feel like I'm in the Dark Ages. He's going defensive. There's another bandit that's beside him, though. Darkstar, Wolf 1-1, one, one, two ship F-18, uh, checking in, seek mission, south of Hama. Uh, living in Sir Lake, uh, 10 miles south of it. There we go, got him. And yeah, Wolf Light, uh, Darkstar, roger. Okay. Say again, uh, where you're going to be operating your seat mission. That's a friendly. And Wolf Light, just be advised, there has been multiple enemy fighters in and around Haba Airport. Yeah, really? Okay, did I miss a guy? I think Roger. I missed him. He's at 11,000. That's friendly. Can't see the guy. We have to one one. We have a two ship big twenty one. Bra one five zero four fourteen miles twenty one thousand. Box two. Woo. And then cargo two one. I didn't know if that was a friendly or not. That scared me a lot. Uno. So I think I had looked at him earlier and thought that that was a friendly. All right, going back to the M7s. Zero, seven, six. We can drop our bags now. Nice, three kills. Three kills and three missiles. Peter, zero four zero, less than five miles. Okay, this guy's getting into range just now. Go ahead and shoot. Fox 1. 15 mile shot. That should be good. I don't know exactly the capabilities of the engines of these M7s, but... Draco, Fox 1. Fifteen miles from twenty-two thousand feet should be good. Five, four, three, two, one, and emerged. Whoop. Nice. Okay. With RWS locks, Fox ones are pretty dang reliable with the F-18 radar. Because in the F-14, you have to trust Jester to manage the back radar, and it's it's really hard for him to do that. So, RWS locks and Fox 1s are actually really difficult unless the target's like staying perfectly still. Another Fox 1, another Bandit. Ooh, good splash. We are going home. Oh, good splash, whoever that was. Hello. Hot hostile. Good. Type MiG 21. Uh, a F 18 in Syria. Oh. Yep, it's a little bit different of a it's very flat. environment. Yeah, it is. There's some mountains over near the coast, though. You can see them over there. Oh, yeah. But I just shot down some planes, and now there's bad guys chasing me, so I gotta run. Gotta run. Actually, I'm gonna go back. Get one more kill. <laughs> there's a dead guy. Oh, gosh. Running spike, 14 Darkstar KS11 checking back in Bull 015485, heading back to Aleppo. Uh, I see we're, uh, we're pretty persistent today. There he is. That's good. Because you got uh, Draco providing cap over Aleppo. Is that gonna miss? Excellent, making uh, best speed to Aleppo. Draco 11 one merge. Draco! Draco 1-1, one, one, be advised, additional two ship, MiG-21, engaging you from your southeast. Less 
left at 10 miles. Draco egressing west. Draco 1 1 red. So, this is a server that's based in like Cold War. So, I have to use lesser weapons and lesser missiles, which is really interesting. You hit him, though. Yeah, it definitely tore his wings. Uh, you're providing CD, is that correct? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, sort of. My, my objective is one of the AA types. I think I just. That was a missile. Did you see that? I saw that. That was a missile. <laughs> that was a missile. <laughs> Ooh, they are right behind me. If I don't turn, I feel like he's going to shoot me. I'm just going to try to get a quick guns kill. Ooh, he's close. Hello. Stink. His friends are right behind him. If they make it, it's fucking man pads. I'm just gonna have to go. I I can't keep in a turn with him. I I could eventually outturn him, but his friends are right behind him, and they've probably got missiles. Oh, yeah, you can see him. It was right behind me, just it was coming up behind and just like cruising behind me. There's no marked Sam's over here, which is good. Holy shit, though. Was that the wolf light that was going into Hama? Yeah. I guess they're just as fast as I am, but I literally have only guns, so it's gonna be chaos. I don't know, feel to keep doing this. Where's my airfield? Nope. Darkstar, bomb one one, back in the air. Okay. I'm gonna run out of fuel, so I'm just gonna go for guns. I'm not gonna survive this. Welcome back. Fly heading one three zero for ten miles. There's a friendly in the mix now. And multiple friendlies in a furball. Ten miles heading one. That's just his engine. Oh really? At six thousand. Shit, I overshot him. And bomb one one, you have a friendly F-18 and a friendly SU-25 in the mix. Bomb one one, copy. I'm picking up something here, 19 miles at zero nine zero. <laughs> Jeez. No! No! Oh no! I tried so hard. I got I got six kills that life though, so I did pretty good. You only had guns. Oh no, I I had guns at the very end there. <laughs> but every time, but every time. Overlord, Draco 11, set tripwire, 20 miles. Eureka 11. One, one. Eureka. Overlord. I could not find I said monster. Draco. Overlord, Draco 11, one, one. set tripwire, 20 miles. Draco, not Eureka. Draco, one, there we go, she got it. <laughs> she's a little special. Now she's got an English accent. If you noticed in our last PvE episodes where we played on the Hoggett server, uh, she had an American accent. Now she's been replaced. So it sounds like we're talking to a tea-drinking, non-American, um, Harry Potter person. You know, it's, God. God, I just can't take it. Just can't do it, Chief. I'm going to eat some of my bowl of rice and chicken while we're flying up in the air. Full afterburner, why not? Get that altitude quick. 
So we're above the clouds now. Which is another cool thing about DCS. When you actually get above the clouds, it's all just sunshiny. Just like real life. It amazed me the first time I was in a commercial jet. And I went above the clouds. Like, that was nuts. To, to just, I don't know. When you're on the ground your entire life, and you, you, your first flight was when you were 18, like me. It was just so shocking to see that, oh, wow, it's a cloudy day down below, but it's a sunny, it's always a sunny day up above the clouds. I know it sounds stupid and way too simple, but, man, I'm just a simple person. Oh, wait, nope, we do have things popping up. Some sensors. Oh, those bandits are getting with almost within 40. We don't have any big things popping up. Oh, there's an SA-6. All right, definitely want to go for those. Where are they? They're just over there? Okay, not too far, like 30 miles. So we should be able to get shots off. Um, those are definitely going to be some MiG-29s and stuff, so we will have to worry about them. But we have four harms here, so we can probably get them off before... Ooh, that's going to be that's gonna be close. Yeah. Oh, SA-10 just woke up. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's not good. We are right above it. <laughs> no, SA-10, no. SA-10, please. SA-10, no. SA-10, please. <laughs> okay. We're going to turn try to get another missile off. Another harm. I'm going really fast now. I'm a bit lower, so if that SA-10 does fire, we should be able to get to the mountains quick enough. And I did get away from it a little bit, too. With that left turn. Okay, there's the... No, I want the SA-6. I want the 6. Where's the 6 at? 6 was the one of the last things to pop up. Yep, there it is. I don't know how far these go. I mean, these are pretty far shots. Oh, there's something closer. Oh, yeah, that's definitely close enough. Okay, Magnum. Flanker. Ooh, yikes. I just want to get one more missile off if I can. There we go. Okay, we have one more Magnum still on us, but I'm going to pull away because there's bandits within 20. Woo! Yeah, there's a few. There is definitely a few of them. There's some friendlies close by, though, that are about to fly over me. And I think they're up high. Oh, no, they're at 6,000, 1,000. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. We've got two AIM-120s as defense right now. I'm going to go to TWS mode. And let's see. What's the closest bandit? He is 22,000. Okay. Start my turn around. Going full afterburner just to keep that airspeed up for this turn. He is at 20,000, 19,000. Okay, we're gonna get a fox on him. Whoa, he's close. And a fox on that guy. Come on, get the shot, get the shot. Oh, okay, we already fired. I didn't even hear that one. Okay, we need to go now. Now, now, now. Woo! Murs, but he's dead. Okay, we're going home. We're going home. This area's way too hot. We don't have good missiles. Uh, we could get one more Magnum off, maybe on that SA-10. Where is it? It's off to our left? Yeah, let's try to get a Magnum off on that. We can run from these guys. It's gonna go to air to ground. The SA up. Alright, let's try to get that SA-10. We need to go to the harm display. Bonk. Bonk. Alright. I think I need to get a little bit higher. This SA-10 might be in the mountains. I'm not getting anything from it yet, though. I think he's I think he's definitely in those mountains. Or in the valleys here. Uh, hmm. Oh, yep, there's something. Come on. I just need the SA-10. Just give me the SA-10. Oh, there's an SA-15. 
Another SA-15. Okay. Well, SA-15's firing on me. Alright, we're running home. <laughs> it's always fun going, like, really defensive against Sam's and a lot of bandits and stuff. So, I think, as well, this is the Hoggett server. They changed their season for the real season of the real time of year. So right now it's fall, and therefore we're in the fall version of the map. Because in DCS there's a, a spring, a summer, a fall, a winter for every map. There's a, different versions of it. So that's why you see some maps that we fly on are snowy. Some of them are green. Some of them are brown like this. And they're usually all the Cox's Mountains. It's just that they have different you know seasons. Kind of like Forza Horizon 4 sort of vibe. All right, we are at 218 knots. We can pop our gears down, pop our flaps all the way down. So yeah, we fired everything. We have, uh, no, we just have our two AIM-9Xs left. Yeah, perfect. We fired everything we had until basically our knives. AIM-9Xs are like very close range compared to AIM-120s. So we're gonna go ahead and land at Novo, get rearmed and refueled, and then we'll be back up for some more. I'm just a poor, innocent little Hornet trying to land at Novo. This is an airstrip that's like back from the front line too. I'm surprised that uh oh my gosh, my RWR is just going off. I'm surprised that I'm even getting bandits within 20 over here. Because that's pretty dang close. That means they could be on me in two minutes. Ready. Bonk. <laughs> Uh, this thing can land so hard and it just does not care at all. It really just has no care in the world. And a lot of the friendlies up here are already working on these bandits. I'm going to go really high up just to avoid everything, hopefully. Maybe get a shot on this guy. Yep, he shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Ugh. Oh my gosh. Please, please no. <gasps> no, that's a Sam! Or a Stinger, I don't have no clue. I think that's a Sam. Oh god. <laughs> let's go, baby! <laughs> Holy shit, that's Sam got Angie. Sam Angie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got distracted by the Sam, and so I just kept descending. I descended even more than I thought I was going to. And then the Sam. <laughs> and then the mountain was right there. Jeez, dude. <laughs> okay. I don't know which Sam that is, but we're going to definitely turn around and try to fight it because we've got four harms ready for it. So go to harm mode, TOO. I guess they up on the right for me. All right, we're gonna do a this little loop-de-loop -loop here. Okay, we definitely got some stuff. SA eights. Okay, Magnum on that. Come on, give me more. Give me more. Give me more. No, I don't need the far things. I need the close things that are right here. Close things right here. Nope. Close things right here. Close things right here. There's a six. Magnum on that. What? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm safe. Are those my shots? I don't know. I don't know if my shots went over. It looks like they kind of went over. Um, it, it's. I need to get back a little bit more just so I can get two shots off in succession. It's just so hard because it takes so long for them to load in TOO. I need to learn the other versions, the PB and the SP. I think the SP has been available for a while, but I don't know what PB, what peanut butter is yet. Anything, anything is good at this point. Oh, I just hate how long it takes to reset everything, to reload every single SAM. I don't know if you could speed this up in any way, but it's like, how does it not see the Sam that's locking us right now? There's an SA-8 that's locking us? Yeah. There's the dog ear. 
No, I was just on it. Ah, uh, they're intercepting. They're definitely intercepting. Dang, man. Oh, they intercepted. Everything I've done for nothing. All right, well, I gotta go eat dinner anyways, so that'll be it for my gaming session today. So thanks guys for watching. Oh, I think this is the end of the video probably for you. Uh, but thanks for watching. It was, it was fun flying DCS. Got a good bit of kills. Got a good bit of kills on the Siri as well. Uh, but yeah, th definitely make sure uh, check out the NordVPN sponsorship we had at the start of the video and all that sort of stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.